Good morning, sleepyheads. It is day seven of trying to make it back home to America, starting from one penny in Europe. I started six days ago in Paris, bust to Amsterdam, flew to London, rode a ferry to Dublin, and now I'm here in a cute house, waking up to deer and the craziest view of my life, thanks to my new best friend, Fian. I have just 11 euros and 60 cents left, which should be just enough to do this. It is early. It is really early, but I have a flight to catch. I bought my ticket back to America while I was in London, and it cost a Fion's gonna take me to the airport, bless his soul. For the record, I paid him 10 euro yesterday. Technically, I paid him back, but I feel like he's over-delivered. Yeah, maybe just a little bit. Yeah, that's a possibility. Mm-hmm, for sure. So I'm gonna get going, but first, morning routine. <laughs> I made my bed, got a good brush in, a good brush, a little bit of deodorant, and we're ready to go, baby. Morning. Morning. How are we? Good. Uh, you ready? Ready to go. I made the Ireland. Ireland. That was sick. <laughs> <laughs> Where are we going? Circle K. For what? A breakfast roll. A, a breakfast typical, roll. A typical Irish delicacy. Come on. I'm getting the full Irish experience. Circle K. <laughs> nice. Get a breakfast roll. I'm from America. <laughs> I can kind of hear it, yeah. I'm gonna try to get a petition going in America to get these. <laughs> Cheers, Maria. Roll. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Fionn. No worries, no. Fionn is spoiling me left and right. Sorry. He said you're spoiling me. <laughs> spoiling you, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's called a what? Breakfast roll. Breakfast roll. Breakfast roll. Watch this. <laughs> Dude, this is insane. That is Ireland. <laughs> <laughs> Mmm, that's good. To the airport. To the airport. <laughs> Life is good. It's too good. Airport. Fionn, thank you, bro. Oh, yeah. Thank you for having me, Fionn. I mean, love you, Fionn. I love you, too. I'm going to America. <laughs> right. Bye, Fionn. I'm going to put you through the security scanner. Don't be scared. <laughs> what are you doing running away? <laughs> that was actually really fast. Hey, guys. I'm in the Ireland airport. Honestly, guys, I'm gonna soak up this last game plan because this is my last one. Possibly ever. Hi. <clears throat> so here's how we're gonna complete this challenge. Step one, buy a little coffee. I'm not gonna be able to do this unless I'm caffeinated. <laughs> Step two, board this plane. It's an international flight with complimentary food and beverages. That's what I call <laughs> hashtag cost efficient. <laughs> I'm so socially uncomfortable right now. And step three, as long as I get through US customs, I will successfully complete this challenge. So I just gotta act natural. I am literally a US citizen. <sighs> That's pretty much it. That's, I mean, honestly, I pretty much only did this game plan for fun because it's pretty straightforward. Just wanted to do one more. So I guess I'll go get started. <laughs> Can we just play the music one more time, just real quick? Game plan. Sick. <sighs> I'm getting emotional, I'm getting emotional. No, it's fine. I'm fine. I need a taste of Ireland. That's what I need. <laughs> Can I get a latte with Irish cream? We don't have any Irish cream. You don't have any Irish cream? No, we have the Hades. What is that? Irish cream. Yeah. Hades. Is Irish cream like just creamer? Or is that alcohol? Oh no, no, I don't want any alcohol. <laughs> just like cream. Awesome, I got a 10. Cheers. Thank you. Cheers, brother. Thank no, you. Chiller. Have a good one. Dude, I asked for Irish cream and that boy tried putting alcohol in my coffee. <laughs> I'm talking about that stuff that tastes like the inside of an Oreo. That's what it is in America. <laughs> hey, technically I'm going to Canada too during this series. <laughs> Add it to the flag list. Oh yeah. Hey yo, window seat check. <laughs> Guys, I've never seen this before. Look at this. This is a digital window shade. Your mind's gonna be blown. Look at this. Isn't that crazy? So this is flight number one of two. I guess all that's left to do is enjoy my coffee with Irish cream. <laughs> I'm just kidding. He didn't put alcohol in it. Oh, so good. Can I get pasta? Thank you. International flights are so cool. This is like a massive meal, just included. I mean, it was very expensive to fly on this plane, but how about a little meal tour? Yes, we've got a nice roll. Vegetables, we're not gonna address that. Brownie? Can I get a Sprite? Yummy, thank you. Sprite? <laughs> this is just awesome. Cheers, guys. 
little palate cleanser. Bon appetit. <laughs> There's something so sentimental about looking outside of an airplane window. The past week has been a whirlwind. It's been a blur. I can't believe I went to Paris, Amsterdam, London, and Dublin. I had so much fun in every city. It was crazy. Paris feels like a lifetime ago, but also yesterday. I should write a book. That was beautiful. <laughs> Something that really blows my mind pretty much every year that we do this. Number one, it really feels like everywhere I go, I find nice people, I find kind people. And I feel like generally the sentiment is that most humans aren't very nice. And I even hear people say that certain places, certain cities, certain countries are much more rude. And I just don't think I believe it. After crossing America, and now after going to this many European countries, I'm actually very encouraged because there really is so much positivity everywhere. And then on top of that, these videos that we're posting, I'm reading the comments, and you guys are so positive. You guys have to be like the most positive subscribers in the world. The comment section is literally the most wholesome thing I've ever read. Whenever I started YouTube, I didn't necessarily think I had a choice in just making wholesome positive content because it's not really what you think people want. It feels like the highest performing videos online most of the time are negative and toxic. And I think this series just proves that that's not true, you know? So I'm just so grateful to be a part of this. I'm so grateful you guys are watching. And the fact that we're all doing this for a good cause. We've raised almost $300,000 for water.org in a week. I mean, <laughs> that's silly. That's just goofy. <laughs> Nothing gets you sappy like, a, like an airplane wing <laughs> and a blue sky. I'm pretty sure we're just over the middle of the ocean right now. That's a little panic inducing. I might panic if I think about that too hard. <laughs> well, well, let's keep flying. Crazy landing. There it is. The American flag. <laughs> I'm going home. Good, dude. You doing this penny series? Yeah, I've, I've heard about the penny series. I've got this penny. And the first step of this, if it lands on heads, you will be getting the great reset, a fifty thousand dollar donation. I, are you gonna do it right now? Like you're gonna you're gonna reset me if this lands on heads? Yeah, if this lands on heads. I mean, I've got oh the credit card already punched into my laptop. I'm gonna be here. We go. Oh no. ready? Ready? <laughs> no, dude, you're not. <laughs> I just got reset. <laughs> Preston plays just reset me. Well, this is a great time to thank all the donors that donated after the series ended. He and Lolly donated $5,555. Key and I love you. Comiclink.com donated $5,100. You guys are the best. All I have left is a penny. <laughs> How poetic. <laughs> I have to get a third person shot with some epic music. I just have to. We made it to America. But it wouldn't be a penny series without a finish line. It just doesn't make sense without a finish line. I have, oh, <laughs> I need that. <laughs> yes, my New York friends made me a finish line. That's all I know. <laughs> Let's go! Well These guys are taking me to an undisclosed location in a Ford Bronco. That is so American. This is my dad's car. Okay, <laughs> just for the record. We put on Party in the USA by Miley Cyrus. <laughs> I felt on top of the world on my way to this artificial finish line. Seven days ago, I found myself in Paris, France with one penny and a crazy idea to try to make it back home starting with one cent. One thing the penny series always teaches me is that true joy is not found in things like money or stuff. True joy is found in love and croissants. I am fully convinced that humans are just adorable and animals, but come on, look at Coco, dude. During this adventure, we raised over $400,000 to help provide people access to safe water. And after traveling over 4,000 miles to make it home, our journey is almost over. They just dropped me off here. They're walking that way. Preston then approached me and told me to run. Just run. <laughs> this is so fun. I love finish lines. <laughs> Sorry, excuse us. <laughs> Got a penny. I don't see it. 
Oh, I see it. <laughs> no way. It's so artificial, but it feels so real. Here we go. <laughs> this is so cool. I wouldn't trade this past week for the world, but one thing is for sure. Yes! <laughs> It feels good to be home. One, two, three. One day is not That's right, baby. Get a close up. Well, guys, that's it. Thanks so much for coming on this adventure with me. This was so fun, so crazy. I've got some limited edition Penny Series merch. First time ever. One cent travel club, baby. Who is that guy? Penny man. Definitely not me. He's just, he's an actual superhero that exists. Some say on a clear night, if you look really, really hard, you might see this guy. You guys see him? If you guys wanted to support me personally, this would be a great way to do it. Once in Travel Club, join the club. Link in the description for the merch. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.